Welcome to our fourth installment in our Software Asset Management 101 Lightning course. Today we're going to go over software discovery and inventory. So our prior episode we talked about software entitlement and understanding <clears throat> what we own. Now we want to talk about figuring out what it is we're actually using, right? So license consumption has a few different, you may hear various uh, words that refer to license consumption, but license consumption is what we would like to think of as the umbrella term. And some of these other inputs or, or ways in which you may hear as license consumption being referred could be installations, deployments, allocations, provisioned users, and, and many other terms. But broadly speaking, license consumption refers to the deployment or assignment of our software within the organization, and it involves tracking and monitoring the software licenses through the discovery and inventory processes to ensure that we're in compliance with our terms and conditions, right? So pr the primary goal of license consumption management is to ensure that an organization doesn't exceed the number of licenses that they purchased. Right? And it sounds obvious, right? But when you start talking or to scale with hundreds or thousands or even tens or hundreds of thousands of employees all using a similar type of software or software where there's duplicative technologies, it really is important that we understand how much we're using of something. Yeah, so what we do here in Discovery is typically done through a tool, and there's two different kinds, whether it's agent-based or agentless, and these tools are designed to spider the network and check anything with an IP address, scan servers, scan workstations, scan network equipment, and understand different attributes about those, those devices. Is it a server? Is it a Windows server? Is it a Red Hat server? Uh, is it a virtual server? And once it knows more information about the server, it can kind of knock on the door and then understand what kind of software is installed on that server and then kind of take an inventory of what is installed. I kind of think of it as like a neighborhood where you have streets and houses. The houses represent uh, different computers, different servers, and you knock on the door of the house and somebody answers the door and tells you who lives in that house, you know, how many kids you have. How many houses are you knocking yeah, on? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many uh, pets are in that house, right? And yeah. all the different kinds of things that go on in that house. And sometimes you knock on the door in a discovery tool and nobody answers. And that's where you don't get complete and accurate data. And that is constantly a struggle is understanding how accurate, how complete is your discovery. If it's low, then you can't trust the data that you have to make sure, you know, I know what I'm consuming from a license perspective. So we want to strive to have 95 plus percent of our, uh, of our environment scannable and discoverable uh, through our, our tooling. And then once we have that data and we've pulled back software information, a lot of it is not relevant or not important. If you ever go to your add or remove programs in your computer, there's probably 150 things listed in that, uh, in that list, of which there's only a handful that probably require some type of license. And so in the inventory, we want to be able to sort through that noise and understand exactly what is licensable or what is needing to be tracked from a license consumption standpoint. Uh, and above and beyond that, we also need to have the ability to recognize that software and understand through uh, certain patterns or certain finger fingerprints what these evidence or what these files that we're scanning make up. Does it make up uh, Microsoft Visio? Does it make up Microsoft Visio Professional? All of these different things help us identify exactly the kind of software that we're consuming. And once we have that list, then we can easily uh, interpret and analyze it to then compare against our entitlement. And that's what we'll talk about in the next section of our Lightning course. So thank you for attending today. And if you have any other questions, uh, please reach out to us on anglepoint.com.